Hey, Sandy, and this is Tim. Hey. So we're live on the uh, Data Driven TV Facebook page. We're at Sequel Saturday Atlanta. Tim is a professional baseball player. No, wait, that's it. <laughs> He's an SSIS guy. Well, and I can say that I've never been cut by a professional baseball team. There you go. So, there so you a go. lot of professional baseball players have. I think I never have. You up. There I you never go. Have. I've never struck out either. <laughs> Anyway, Tim did a pre-con here yesterday. How'd your pre-con go? It went well. So I, I had uh, 32 or so people that came to learn integration services. Okay. So learned a little bit about design patterns, how to build good SSIS packages, how to troubleshoot for yeah. performance, and yeah. and uh, build in error handling and things like that. Well, you've written a, a couple fun. of books about design patterns. I, I seem to remember having written a couple of chapters here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Tim and I are co-authors of the, uh, the two editions of the SSIS design patterns book. Um, we we probably ought to do a third one one day. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah. It's fun. Tim and I also co-teach, I guess, I don't know, what would you call that? What we, we do for uh, SQL Skills Immersion Events, mm -hmm. we do the Advanced SSIS, um, I guess we call it Advanced SSIS Training. Yeah, so it's a, a five-day, I believe we increased it to, from four to five days we did go to five this last days. time. Uh, it's a five-day Advanced SSIS Training class it's specifically for people who already have integration services skills, yep. want to take the skills to the next level. So we really get deep into the product. We get deep into the data flows, yeah. uh, really good design patterns on uh, on handling for errors, handling for some of the weird stuff that, that you might encounter. Uh, sure. so it's a lot of fun. It's uh, The last time we did it, we had, I want to say, 20 or so people. That, yeah. that joined up, maybe a few more, um, and it was really a good week. Everybody learned a lot. Andy and I learned a, a little bit about we, we um, actually about did. integration services as well. I, I learn a lot every time, and I, you know, it was I was trying to think the last time you taught me that trick about the razor, right? The razor, the razors. Yeah. So Tim taught me when you're doing shaving with a razor, oh. don't put it up wet. I didn't know <laughs> that. You know what? That, that was like a couple of years ago, I want to say, and I haven't like replaced the blade since then. Okay. No, I'm kidding. That was a good tip, though. <laughs> but you did, you taught me about, um, the very last one we did, you taught me about validation in the mm -hmm. SSIS catalog, which is pretty interesting. I had no idea it was that useful. I mean, I'd seen it, mm -hmm. but I'd never really used it. And you walked through it. It was one of those things that seems innocuous. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But it turns out you can get an awful lot of use out of stuff like that inside the SSIS catalog. Well, validation is one of those things that a lot of people don't think about because yeah. you've got – SSIS is really picky about metadata by design. Yeah. So it knows a lot or it can know a lot about your metadata. Uh, built into the SSIS catalog is the ability to do metadata validation to prove out before you actually do your load that the tables that you're going to use are actually there, that the columns are of the right data type. So yeah. you, you can know ahead of time – you can't know if your package is going to break necessarily, right. but you can know if there's a missing dependency within that SSIS package with respect to the metadata. Right. Pretty cool. So, you know, we turn on the news. I was mentioning this earlier. You turn on the news. They're not talking about SSIS. They're not talking about ETL, but they are talking about big data. They, they are, are talking, talking about, about data. Uh, data science. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that when you look at what's involved in data science, 50%, 80%. It's the stuff we do. It's the data mm -hmm. integration. It's shaping that data, uh, cleansing that data. And by the way, Tim, Tim's written probably more about data cleansing, the data cleansing components, I think, than anybody. Yeah, uh, a yeah, bit about I think that. You, yeah, yeah, he wrote the chapters on that. I think he certainly wrote the first chapters I saw published on it. Mm -hmm. um, data cleansing is huge for data science. So talk some about that, Tim. Tell, tell us more about, uh, about data cleansing and what you do for data cleansing. So in general, I keep hearing that ETL is dead. So there is no need to do data cleansing, data preparation. Um, we're going to take the data from wherever it resides, not do any sort of prep on it, and just consume it. Yeah. Um, in a perfect world, absolutely. I'd love to, to live in that world that that, that actually works. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, ETL is alive and well. Data quality processing is alive and well. Um, a lot of data quality processing um, it doesn't involve a tool necessarily. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of SQL Server. I'm a big fan of SSIS, but very often the approach is pragmatic and mm -hmm. not necessarily tool-based. Okay. A lot of that comes along with knowing your data. Yeah. Um, and I'm a big fan of – so part of what I love doing in consulting is that I get to learn about different domains of data. Um, mm -hmm. I worked in – before I got into consulting in IT, I worked for healthcare company, an education company. And I knew those realms pretty well, but I didn't know a lot about how other people were doing business. When I got into consulting, it was a lot of fun for me because I got to learn not just how to do these bits and bytes and how to perform functions in ETL, but how to actually learn how they're using the data. Um, and you can take a more semantic approach with that sure. rather, than, rather than just applying um, 
bits and bytes, I keep calling it, but yeah. applying functions to data, um, knowing how it's being used definitely has an impact on how you do data quality and ETL. Yeah, and I know you're a fan of automation. I've seen um, recently, I saw a blog post from you. I don't know if it was a recent post or not, where you were writing about Bemmel. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't know this, but Tim, Tim went through the Bemmel Hero training. I keep trying to tell him to finish it up. It's between <laughs> us. But, yes, so Tim uh, knows quite a bit about Bemmel. And so have you been using Bemmel? Have you been, have any of your clients, have you been doing any Bemmel work for your clients? Yeah, so I'm a big fan of Bemmel. Um, it doesn't work for every project, but I've got a, a few in my history where, and I, I can tell kind of a longer story. I'll not yeah. bore everybody with this story. Um, but one of my clients saved literally months of time on one of their packages by us using Bemmel instead of nice. doing it by hand. Yeah. Um, Bemmel helps to automate a lot of your packages. And the big thing that takes away is the mundane, the drag and drop boredom. Yeah. Um, um, it's because I can use Bimmel and not forcibly have to do all that stuff manually. Yeah. But it also wa saves wear and tear on the gray matter up here because <laughs> I don't want to spend months and months dragging from source to destination, source oh, to destination. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do the, the fun stuff. I want to do the valuable stuff, more importantly. Yeah. And Bimmel lets me focus on that more valuable work rather than just the mundane stuff that, that could be and should be automated. Yeah, cool stuff. Well, Tim presented today on the SSIS catalog. I did. I presented a little bit on the catalog as well right after him. And so we had a great couple of uh, presentations today talking about all of this, all things data, all things catalog, data integration related. Always um, fun. Look forward to one day getting you on the full podcast, Tim. Let's we do, do it. We like about a 45-minute interview where we ask important questions like, you know, your shoe size, stuff like that. All right. It's really important. So you bring the pizza and beer and I'll be there. That's, that sounds like a plan. All right. I, I really liked it. It's Thanks so much for being on this, Tim. Hey, my pleasure. All right, brother. See you.